welcome back to the channel. This week we continue our journey exploring Cornwall's beautiful coastlines and even meet some llamas. Hello Mr Lama. But this week we come up against a challenge that we never thought we'd have to face. Yeah, we've just been, been attacked by a couple of locals. Stay tuned to find out how it all unfolded. Always waiting for Laura. I missed, missed a bit where I just stood out here for 10 minutes waiting for you. No, that didn't happen. I need to go to the toilet again. Land's end. So we're going to Land's End. Parked up in a little lay-by. Oh, we can fit in, really. Go on, Laura. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we didn't want to pay £10 to park at Land's End, so we've had to walk just over a mile to get there. We paid £10 to park for the night, and we don't even do that, so we try not to anyway. It is a llama, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Is that an alpaca or a llama? Hello, Mr. Llama. Do we get many llamas? No. I think that is a llama. Alpacas are usually really fluffy. I know they shave them, but... Hey, Siri. What is the difference between a llama and an alpaca? Here's an answer from wikipedia.org. Differential characteristics between llamas and alpacas include the llama's larger size, longer head, and curved ears. Curved He's ears. got curved ears. Hey guys, your ears curved. Can you show me your ears, please, guys? Yeah, I'm gonna go with llama. Llama? If only I just could see what was going on. Llama. Oh, here we go. Good boy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> right, come on in. I don't think it's even open, but it still looks good. So where's the sign? The land's end sign. Might be that way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, maybe it's as if they had taken the photos for you. No, it's not. What? I think you have to pay. Please join the queue. So we're about to get a picture at the Land's End sign like we did at John O'Groats. And there's a, a man there charging you. So how many sh shipwrecks are there down there, Laura? Yeah, there's about 30 shipwrecks down here because there's quite a few rocks just under the surface like the one just over there. Yeah. I think it says zero. Is it not charging your phone then? Working. I hope you know the way back. Yeah. Don't know. You sure it's not charging? You winding me up? No. You're actually winding me up. There's nothing on it. <laughs> How do you keep so up? Me? How are you? You're such an idiot. <laughs> If it still doesn't charge now, then it's fine, I have to clear. It's still not working. <coughs> Should we uh, take a walk around? Cornwall's backbone. So we just managed to get a picture with the sign. They've actually taken the main sign down. Because <laughs> you have to have pay for that. Which you have to pay for. Look. So they've actually it's taken £10 it down. £10.95 for fire. <laughs> Back from Land's End. Um, what do we think of it, Laura? It was a nice walk. It was a nice walk down. What was it? It weren't a mile, was it? No, it was probably a mile there around the back. Car park's not a tenner, it's £6, pound, isn't it? Yeah, makes that true. There's like a load of shops and stuff in there that were all shut apart from one little hut. Although it's probably out of season now because it's early October. We went to John O'Groats, what, two months ago or so? 
and there's people standing there at the white sign taking pictures. But here, you get here, and there's a bloke standing there taking a tent up for one photo. We said, we'll wait till he goes. <laughs> wait till he leaves, and then we'll get a picture ourselves of our own camera. And when he left, he took the sign with him. <laughs> but there was another little sign next to it, so... Um, yeah, we, we went and got a picture of that. I'm glad we saw it and it didn't cost us Yeah, anything, I'm glad we went so. there. Yeah, it didn't actually cost us anything at all. Although it might yeah. the crepe shop was open. Yeah, the crepe shop was open quite a We went off to do some much needed laundry and pitched up for the night. Laundry time. <laughs> Always me doing the housework. <laughs> Hilarious. Right, what are we doing today? I'm posted in Burning for October. It is three o'clock. Ten past three actually. We're just going down to pick up some pots. We're going to have to get everything delivered to like a, a Dropbox or Amazon or whatever. You can't, we obviously we haven't got an address. So, oh, it's got some food coming. And I've got a phone coming that was supposed to be here soon because I lost my phone obviously on the beach. But, it is now turned up at my parents' house, so they've now got it redirected to me. Just driving through a little thing. What are they called? Static home. Static. Static home. Essential, like retirement park. And the numbers aren't just going one, two, whatever. Yeah, 37, 35, and then. Hang on, is it not back there? Freaking 12. 35. Should I get out? Yeah. Loris is going to go and find her parcel. So it's supposed to end up in a Sainsbury's collection point, but some reason it got re-diverted and ended up at someone's static home. Retirement park place. So she's got to go and knock on the door and collect her parcel. Yeah. Well, it's up. Oh, let me just walk up here. Yeah. Oh, God, this little park is way too small for this van. All that, just for some freaking dog treats. But look, he's going to be so happy. You get more happy than him when you get him food. 20 pieces. Oh, she's a nice lady. She's like, it's not the address that it's turned up at isn't even the address that's on it either. It wasn't, that's, it was, wasn't meant to go to their address. Oh, it wasn't even that. So it's, oh God, it's even more confusing than I thought. 27. And it's gone to number 38. That was close. Right, next stop. What's this beach called? Bra Beach. Bra. 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 Not bra. Bra. Bra beach. Oh, it's lovely to walk on the beach, but um, it just gets so covered in sand, rolls in it and everything. Um, we've got no water left, so hopefully we can um, get have a little top up soon because he's going to be caked. Look him. Do what? I don't know, they're weird, didn't they? I know, it's been browned out. <laughs> My poor dog. A little private beach. Let's go for a little explore. Parkour! 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 Someone's the game. Alright, let's go back before I get trapped in by the sea. Back in the van. I'm gonna go to a campsite tonight because there's nowhere to get any water in Cornwall. Um, well, it's a struggle anyway. Have a look on park for night, and there's not really anywhere to go. There's not many places to stay, but although we could stay where we are right now for a fiver, which is actually really nice, on, just next to the beach, but we haven't got any water, so no showers, no washing up. Empty the loo. Oh, and we got into the toilet. Yeah, yeah. So Pro Beach, well worth a visit. Chuck it on your tick list, on your bucket list. 
It's only a 25 minute drive. Sleep already. Is this it? Hiya. Hello. 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 <laughs> um, the turkeys oh, tend oh. to jump on the dogs. Oh, so, yeah. We have our own little woods right down the bottom. Um, that is the only way off site, so the dog can run that way and it can't go. Oh, out, right. so, oh. Which is quite cool. Go and pick, pick a spot and enjoy. God, look at that! Oh my god, big turkeys! Oh my god! <laughs> They're sitting on the fence! <laughs> I hope the GoPro can pick that up. Love it! Him, hold him, hold him, he's gonna jump out the window. Did she say go anywhere? Oh, I, I think so. I think so, Brad. I was just... Oh my god, he's getting out of his towel. Oh, jeez. Shut the window. Oh, this is a pleasant surprise. It's lovely. Did she say they like getting on the dog's backs or something? They like yeah. jumping on the dog? Yeah, the turkey will jump on the dog. <laughs> go and have a little explore. This is lovely. Pretty washing up sinks. Wash your hair again. She's only done it the other day. Usually you don't wash it for a month. <laughs> nice cubicle toilets. And then there's free showers as well. Proper showers. None of this push button stuff. Your mum does work right here because it came up after yourself. <laughs> yeah, we can have toast tomorrow. Yeah, we can have toast. There's a toaster. There's parked up over there. Really nice place, lovely lady. Really nice Hi. services and everything. We can't find a chemical waste disposal, which is what we really need. <laughs> it's one of the th reasons why we uh, stayed somewhere tonight. Um, but yeah, we'll have to have a little look. Maybe we just can't see it yet. You coming out? We got settled for the night in this beautiful campsite that up until now is our favorite one so far. It wasn't until the next day, just as we were about to take Otis for a walk, two of the locals made it known we weren't welcome there. Having a bit of a standoff here. I think they are. Good boy. Be nice. Be nice. Leave it. We're going to jump on your back. Leave. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Oh well, we can't leave because they're going to come with us. <laughs> Alright, let me take him. Oh, they're whacking him. <laughs> let me take him. You go and grab the lady and let her know. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Come on. This way, good boy. Good boy. Come on, we can't get away from him. Right, he's behind me. Oh, no, he's not. Go on. Go on, that way. Hey. That was eventful. <laughs> we had to get the owner of the campsite um, to come and grab the turkeys because they wouldn't listen to us. Yeah. They kept whacking Otis with their wings. Even if I was trying to guide them on my hands or anything, they was just barging into me and trying to get to Otis. <laughs> uh, it was funny though. But the lady came out and literally just went, come on boys, and they moved. <laughs> uh, what was it? She said that one of a dog had attacked a chicken earlier in the year, so now they're really protective. Yeah, yeah, 
dog attacked one of the chickens and they went, oh yeah, that's my chicken friend. <laughs> and the lady did warn us on the way in. Um, the turkeys <coughs> tend to jump on the dogs. I was thinking, yeah, really? <laughs> do they? <laughs> but yeah, they do like to attack dogs. After Otis changed his pants after that terrifying encounter, took him for a walk just around a path right outside the campsite. We went all the way to Scotland hoping to see some Highland cows. Obviously, that wasn't the only reason we went. We just needed to come to Cornwall. <laughs> I've been trying to get a nice picture of a Highland cow because Laura wants it on a canvas. So, yeah, so it's around Scotland for a Highland cow. And um, they're right here on Cornwall. So, could have done half the distance and got a picture. <laughs> Van life done, completed, mate. And now we've got to walk back past the locals again oh, to get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't carry that in there. They'll think you've killed one of them. <laughs> Can I get back in the van? Look, they're waiting, <coughs> waiting to attack Oak. He is losing his head in. <coughs> waiting to attack. <coughs> Overall, we had a great time and the last campsite really made our week. So if you're in Cornwall, make sure you come to check this place out because it is amazing. The owner couldn't do enough for us and they're currently upgrading the campsite for next year in 2023. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time.